Okay. Earlier this morning at about 2.30 a.m., Dallas officers responded to a shooting call involving a security officer at a business located in the 3100 block of Knox Avenue. When officers arrived, they met with the security officer, who is a retired Dallas police officer, and they witnessed. According to their testimony, a suspect entered the rear of the building uh, uh, wearing body armor and armed with an assault rifle in an attempt to commit a robbery. The uh, suspects, suspect attempted to disarm the security officer. However, the security officer was able to pull his weapon and fire multiple shots at the uh, suspect. The suspect ran out of the rear of the business and collapsed in the alleyway. Uh, when the officers arrived, they attempted to render aid to the suspect and he was transported to the, an area hospital where he subsequently died of his injuries. Uh, this remains an ongoing investigation. The Dallas Police Department Special Investigations Unit is conducting the investigation simply because the officer is a security officer involved. And that's the thing I have right now. And at this point, no charges or anything for that security officer? He's not in your custody at all? Uh, no, I mean, we're, we're still interviewing him, we're interviewing witnesses, so this is an ongoing investigation. Look at any other suspects? Uh, you guys look at any other suspects at this point? Well, we haven't ruled it out, so, I mean, we're looking at surveillance cameras in the area to see if there were any uh, any waiting vehicles or anything like that, but, so we haven't ruled it out. And no other businesses or anything that, that he had made, maybe tried to go into, like he was targeting the apples for? Well, and that looked like the only business that was affected so far, so that we can tell. By, by himself? By himself? He was the only suspect inside the store, yes. And the security guard wasn't uh, injured? No, there was no other injuries other than the suspect who was deceased. Do we know how he was able to gain access to the uh, store? Well, there was some construction going on inside the store, so the rear of the business was open, and so the security officer was sitting back there and uh, when he was approached by the suspect. All right. All right. All right. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Good, sir. Thank you. I can get up. Thank you. No problem. Well, so one, one, one more thing. Can we get your name on camera again? You know, we know who you are. Yeah, yeah, it's it's title and spelling. Uh, last name Fantastic, first name Mr. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's Sergeant Warren Mitchell, W A R R E N M I T C H E L L. Oh, is there any, uh, like, for any other business, like, is everyone going to be able to open this morning, or are there any, uh, like, a uh, it's just the Apple store that, that you're looking at right now? Well, right now, that's all we see. Okay. Right. Are you done so. with the investigation here for them? They can do normal operations? Or, or do you, you, do you know? Well, that's not for me to determine. I guess the investigators uh, will uh, make that the decision there. But uh, as far as we know, uh, we can't see any other business being disrupted. But again, I'm just the lonely PIO, so uh, we'll let them make that final call there. So whatever it takes for them to, uh, so the crime scene is not contaminated or anything like that, so they'll take whatever time they need to make sure they and secure the t integrity of the investigation. Sergeant Mitchell, the last question I have for you is, what, if any, advice do you have for the new man who's about to go to APD? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Pardon. Don't go. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, congratulations. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't have that information. You know, but uh, you know, he is a retired officer, and uh, he's lucky. I can just say that. So, mm -hmm. all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.